All right, today I got my favorite little buddy with me. She doesn't like to be picked up. I can hold her and, you know, she's okay with, like, I can pet her and stuff, but she's not, she doesn't really like getting picked up. But anyways, today I figure I'd go out. I talked about the shake test. I figure I'd go out and show you the shake test real quick. About a four or five minute video. A couple of people wanted to know what it was and or confused about it. So, say hi. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. I'm going to try and do this shake test. Um, this is an example of an ear that is not pollinated. Now, if you look, you can see pretty much all of those hair silks are connected to a kernel. And... And you can see it's hanging there like kind of like a wig off a doll. And when I shake it, other than what I tore off tearing the husk back, it stays on there. And you can also see the color difference as well. So that's part of it. We'll find one that's pollinated now. This is clearly not pollinated. It'll never be corn. The deer tore this off, so I don't feel so guilty about it at all. All right, so I found an ear that the deer bit off. So the end of this is not going to look real good or anything like that. But you can see that the silk has dyed. It's a dark color. So my hypothesis is that when I peel this back, it's the, the silks are going to be not attached to the kernels when I shake it. All right, so I'm going to peel this back. Better off doing this with a knife, because that way you're not pulling the silk off. See how the silk is not on there after shaking it? Some of them are. Again, this was deer damage. Uh, they got the end of it before it could be fully pollinated, but you can see that the kernels are developed. And when I shake it, most of them have come off. Some of them aren't. Uh, you can see actually kernels that uh, aren't ever going to pollinate. Well, they're not gonna now anyway. I pulled the cob off. But that's pretty much what they call the shake test. And you shake it in the in the hairs fall off of there, you know that the kernel has been pollinated. So I know a few of you were asking about it, and that's what you got. Also, I want to see if I can find that other cob. The difference, you can see this is actually turning into corn. It'll never be corn, but you can see the, the kernels are developed versus... undeveloped kernels and you can shake this all day and 90 to 95 percent of them are going to stay on there like a wig but yep undeveloped kernels not pollinated shaken not stirred uh, and developed kernels of corn and when this matures into a grain It'll dent in the middle. And when uh, this is a food plot in particular here to hunt over, but other corn that I grow, when you take it to market, you want it dried at 16%. Usually, if you don't have a dryer, you just let it sit in the field. But, anyways, that's a shake test. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.